In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a KPI like the one you see on the left hand side that is larger than the limit of the 72 point font that Tableau permits. So let's get started. So you can see here, I have everything set up except for my big number. What I want to do is calculate the overall profit ratio. So first off, my profit ratio calculation is the sum of profit divided by sum of sales. And I'm going to set up my default number format. Right now I have it at decimal places, but I want it to have a plus or a minus depending on if it's positive or negative. So I'm going to change it to custom and put a plus uh, in front of the 0.0% and then do a semicolon and 0.0%. That allows Tableau to know how to display positive numbers and negative numbers. So let's start by just putting the, the field on text. And you see, we've got something like that. I'm gonna set it to entire view. And I'm gonna go into the text shelf and I'm gonna center both of them because I know I want it there. And then if I go in and try to change my font, let's see. So I can go in here and type in and put in 72 and hit apply. But that's not that big. I want it to be a lot bigger. So maybe you think I could just type a number in here like 100. Well, notice I'm hitting zeros, but Tableau doesn't allow that. Ironically, though, what Tableau does allow is for you to type in a number smaller than eight. So I could type in seven and get a really tiny one, but it doesn't let me do bigger. I'm not sure why, but let's figure out how to fix that. OK, so we have something like that. <clears throat> and I've shown you how Tableau does not allow you to adjust the size. You could think, OK, I'll put something on the size shelf and maybe crank that up a bit. But you notice that didn't do anything. OK, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a calculated field. I'm just going to call it dummy. And I'm just going to set it as two blanks. I'm going to go ahead and stick that onto the text shelf. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my profit ratio on text. And I guess something like that it looks just like what we had before. But what I want to do now is I want to put any field onto the number of records. I'm sorry, onto the size shelf. So I'm going to use number of records. And then I'm going to change my mark type to text. And now notice how much bigger my font is. So if I go back over to my dashboard, you'll see my profit ratio. See, notice how it doesn't fit in here. So if I set this to entire view, it doesn't fit. It shrunk it down a bit. OK, well, that's fine. I can now go over to my profit ratio sheet. <clears throat> and um, the problem now is I can't adjust the size of the text, even if I click on the size shelf. I can't adjust the size. OK, well, maybe I need to go ahead and show my shape, my size legend. Well, I don't have one. That's because this is a text mark type. OK, so what I would need to do in this case is I would need to go ahead and uh, even probably just allocate more space to my KPI. So maybe I go I go ahead and I just oops, I can just drag. Oh, I don't want to move that one as well. So let's just do it like that. Oops, it's not going to let me. Let's see, there should be a way to just drag the one. I'll just drag them all over for now. And you see, I have to keep moving it over until I get the space I want. Okay, great. <clears throat> Maybe that's okay with you, but that's one way to do it. But there's an easier way. So let's go ahead and go to sheet one again. And I'm gonna actually use Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna type in my, uh, I'm just gonna type in any number. I'm just gonna type in a one. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the font to whatever I want. So let's say we want it to be uh, 96 point. OK, so now we're going to um, maybe let's do 120 point, something like that. Or what that let's do 200. And no, that's going to be too big. So let's do 150. OK, sorry about that. So let's go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to go back over to Tableau. And I'm going to go back to my profit ratio sheet. Let me go ahead and clear everything off of there. I'm going to uh, go ahead and put my profit ratio on text again. And I'm going to go into my text shelf. I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything and then paste in my big number. Okay, now you might think, well, that's not particularly helpful. Well, I'm going to go ahead now and put in my profit ratio field. And then I can switch the font back to Tableau. Oops, I messed that up. Sorry, let me do that again. So I'm going to go ahead and paste. I'm going to do a select all. And I'm going to go ahead and put profit ratio in there. Hit apply. And now I've got a nice big profit ratio, definitely bigger than 72 point. I can set this to entire view and then go ahead and go back over to my dashboard and notice how, it, how it's even bigger now. Okay, so maybe that font is probably too big. Well, I'll just go back over to Word and change it. 
So let's say it needs to be maybe, uh, let's say 90 points. So I can do control A, C, and then go back over to Tableau, go to my sheet. Again, go into my text shelf, control A and B, and then control A, and then insert your profit ratio. And there we go, we get a slightly smaller profit ratio. Now I can go back over to the shelf, and there we go. So now it fits a bit better. <clears throat> so the difference is, the uh, when I when I just copy and paste from Word, I get to control specifically the size. If I use the other option, the first one that I showed, the text is dependent on the space that's available. So because it's uh, using that number of records on the size shelf, it's going to go ahead and zoom to whatever size is available in that space. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.